hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you however today's is a children's theater show we're going to go to the lowry to see the gruffalo um we weren't originally going to go because it's quite expensive however my children have recently become obsessed with the gruffalo so we've managed to we've managed to get some tickets and we are going the tickets are 18 pounds each which i do think is quite expensive when you've got four people to go um but they really really wanted to go so we are going today we're on row c and it is in the keys theater which is a the smaller theater so i'm really excited to see it the kids are super excited so it should be a good show so yeah i'll show you around the theater um show you the view from our seats and let you know what we thought of the show when we get back but yeah it should be a good day so i'll get back to you once we're on the way just at the tram station now waiting for the tram we just missed one. Take Next one's in two minutes, and we're going to be pushing it to get there in time. Got to be there for it starts at half one, so you need to be there at quarter past one at the latest. So, yeah, we're going to be pushing it to get there on time. So we just made it to Lowry. We ended up getting the Trafford Centre tram. So it's actually a bit quicker. It stopped outside the War Museum. And we're just going to walk over the bridge because the immediate city one does take a long time and we probably would have been really pushing it. So yeah, this is much quicker. Get off at the War Museum, walk over the bridge. It only takes like five minutes, 10 minutes max on the tram. So I think it is about five past now. So we should have plenty of time. There you go, there's a the theatre. Don't walk over the bridge. So it's just come in now, we've got a little, handy little leaflet leaf each on the way in, like some little activities in it, you know? So it's in the Keys Theatre today, which is just around here in the small theatre. So yeah, Alice is super excited, aren't you Alice?
Hearts are in the fifth you now. This is it. There we go. Here they are. Come on this way. Show you your seat. Come on. Oh, we're on row C. Look for the letter C. There's a letter C, so we're on here. So we're in our seats now, we made it just in time, didn't we? Good for now, are you excited? Yeah, it's a really good view as well. And there's absolutely loads of leg room in these seats. the theatre is actually quite a bit later um, some, since we've been back. Uh, I think we got back from the theatre around four o'clock something like that and I've since been out to a wedding and come back so it's now nearly midnight but I wanted to just talk about the show that we went to see so obviously we went to the Lowry Theatre um, to see the Gruffalo live. It was on in the smaller theatre at the Lowry which is the Keith's Keys Theatre and we were sat in row C, seats 1, 2, 3 and 4 and our view from those seats were excellent, we were so close to the stage it sort of felt like you were part of the show so those were really good seats to sit in there was a massive route of leg room in those seats as well um, we could definitely fit our bags by our feet and everything there was a lot of leg room there um, also on the way into the theatre, they, they clearly had the booster seats out, they were clearly signed, they were signed up saying booster seats, they're really easy to find, some theatres you go to you can never find these booster seats, these ones are very easy to find, um, they actually asked, someone was actually asking you on the way in if you wanted a booster seat, which was really good because when I've been to other theatres, they've not asked you if you wanted them or handed them out and you have to ask um, for them, so that was really good that they were giving them out on the way in. Also on the way in you were given a little program, a complimentary like, free souvenir program. So this has got um, your cast in it and a little puzzle on the back. So I'll show you this properly later. So you got that on your way in as well. So there was a bit of merchandise for this show. I'm not sure how much of it I actually filmed. I think I might have filmed the price list. So this should have been a teddy, uh, a Gruffalo teddy, but we sold out of those when we got here, got there, and I think that should have been $7.99. So I have no idea what that looked like. Um, I think my kids probably would have wanted it if they saw it, would have wanted it if they'd seen it, but there wasn't any left. They had a CD from the show. I'm not sure how much that one was. Hopefully it'd be on the 
um, price list that I filmed. They had um, the books. I think they had they had the Gruffalo, the Gruffalo's Child, and another one. I think it was the Smooth and the Smooth, something like that. Uh, they were seven pound fifty each. They had a Gruffalo T-shirt, which was I think it was fourteen ninety nine. I think they only had two sizes in the T-shirt. I think they had three to four and five to six, something like that. Anyway. And like I said, those are fourteen ninety nine, and I'm sure they had something else as well. Maybe that was it. T-shirts, books, CD. I think they had activity book as well. Um, but yeah, that's what they had merch wise. So the price for the tickets for this show were eighteen pounds each, which personally is very expensive for us. Uh, we usually don't pay more than £13 for a ticket, uh, especially if all of us are going, because it's just so expensive. So for us, this was a lot of money, and we weren't going to go, but over the last few weeks, my two children have become completely obsessed with the Gruffalo story. Uh, they watched it on the telly, um, on iPlayer, and they become absolutely obsessed with it. We bought them the book. And since buying the book, Leo wasn't as um, obsessed with the story as Alice was. He he wasn't that keen on it, to be honest. And then since we bought the book, he is now more obsessed with it than Alice. He literally sits there and reads it every day. He puts the TV programme on and he gets his book and he sits there and he goes through the book as the TV programme is on. He knows all the words. And my little boy struggles to talk, he's still not talking properly, but yeah, he knows all the words in this book. Um, so we absolutely loved it. So we thought, well, we'll we'll spend the money on the tickets, we'll get it because they love it so much and it can be the summer holiday treat. Uh, but like I said, for me personally, £18 is a lot of money and the theatre was only half full and I don't know, I think if they just reduced the tickets slightly, maybe to £15 or £10, I think they will probably sell out the theatre over the summer holidays. Um, but they don't seem to be reducing the tickets because I have I have looked to see if there's any reductions and I couldn't find tickets any cheaper than £18. So I'm not sure if there are any cheaper than that, but that's the only price I could find. Um, but yeah, saying that, however, the show was excellent. It was really good. My kids absolutely loved it. All the kids in the audience loved it. All the parents loved it. It was a very good show. So if you don't know, um, Gruffalo Live is based on the book The Gruffalo. Like I said, my kids are obsessed with it. The book is by Julia Donaldson and Alex Schiffler. Um, they do lots of different books. They do Stick Man, um, Room on the Broom, those sort of things. And all those have got shows as well. In fact, I think Room of the Broom is at the Lowry in December, near Christmas time. Um, so yeah, they've written a lot of very successful books which have been turned into stage plays. And if you don't know what the story is about, basically it's about a little mouse who is walking through the wood. Some predator animals want to eat him and he makes up the story of this monster, the Gruffalo, to scare them away. And then the monster that he's made up ends up being real. And um, to stop the monster from eating him, he um, makes the, the monster walk with him through the through the wood um, to meet the predators. And then the predators are scared of the gruffalo, so run off. And the gruffalo thinks that these predators are scared of the mouse. So it's a really funny story. The kids absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, it was really good. So to stretch out the story a bit, they have had added songs to it. So there's songs in this production. They've added like little jokes and stuff. They've had add, um, um, audience participation. They make the kids roar in it. They have the kids dancing, shouting things out. And the great part of the show, which all the kids really loved, is at one point the Gruffalo runs through the audience sits in the seats and um, yeah the kids really loved that. Alice loved it because the Gruffalo ran past her chair and she loved it. Um, 
So yeah, it was really, really good. The show is only 55 minutes long and it is recommended for age three and up. And I think that our age range is probably right. There were some smaller children there, but they did seem to be getting a bit restless. And to be honest, my little boy, who is three, he was getting a bit restless towards the end. Um, but yeah, all the kids in the audience seem to love it. So yeah, 55 minutes. The runtime for the show is 55 minutes, which I think is about right for that age range. There's no interval either. It's just a straight run through of the show. So the Gruffalo as a, as a story has actually been around for a long time. I think the first, it was first published in 1999. And then I think they first um, did a performance of the show back in 2001. So it's been at a stage show for quite a while. So obviously it must be great if it's still going now. Um, like I said, it's produced by Tall Stories. And they're actually a registered charity. And they travel the UK with their shows. I think they also travel around the world, actually, taking their shows around the world. And I've actually think they've produced a few shows from um, Julia Donaldson's books. I think they've done, like, I think I said, Room on the Broom. I think they've done The Gruffalo's Child as well. So, yeah, they have done a few of her books as stage shows. And like I said, I think Room on the Broom is actually on at the Lowry in December so we'll have to see if we go and see that or not. Alice, my little girl, isn't keen on that book but my little boy loves it so maybe we might just take him um, but yeah if it's as good as this show then we definitely need to go and see it. So I'll just give you a quick look at the uh, souvenir program that you got and you went to see the Gruffalo so this is the front it just says the Gruffalo based on the picture book by Julia Donaldson and Alex Schiffler and then on and then inside you've got uh, some information about the show a word from Julia Donaldson what she thinks of the show and um, some information about Julia, Julia Donaldson and some information about Alex Schiffler then you have the cast here so you have Aaron Dart who plays the Gruffalo you have Arthur Chisholm who plays the Predators so he actually plays the fox, the owl and the snake and he was really good, he had so much energy. It was a really incredibly hot day today uh, and they were in their costumes and they did so well. I don't know if I could have coped in the heat um, jumping around the stage with as much energy this guy had uh, but he was really really good. Um, I think my favourite predator that he played I think was snake. I thought Snake was really funny, really enjoyed uh, his Snake character. But yeah, he played all three of the Predators. Then you had Amy Lee Bevan as the mouse. I thought she was really, really good. She was really good at um, getting the kids to join in with the um, participation bit when she was getting them to roar and everything. Yeah, and I thought she was really, really good as the mouse. And then you had Anne Nicholson as the understudy for Mouse and Predator, so we didn't actually get to see her perform. And then you have information about uh, off stage, so the directors and creative producer, lighting design, person who done the music and lyrics, puppet design, and then all the other off stage people then you have an advert here for room on the broom another one of their shows you have some information here about tall stories themselves uh, you've got the production team here and then you've got um you've got some of the current projects that they're working on so there's room on the broom the Smeeds and the Smooths, the Canterville Ghosts, and then the Tall Stories Studio. And this is Tall Stories um, social media um, handles. And then you've got this little thing here. It says, Butterfly Hunt, can you find 10 hidden butterflies in this program? So a little activity for the children to do. And on the back here you've got a little word search to find all these words. And to be honest, I love a good word search. I might do that myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely little program to get 
um, with your ticket. I thought that was really nice that you got a little program. So yeah, that is the Gruffalo and I thought it was really really good. My children really enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend it. Like I said, it is quite expensive uh, for us at the moment. But I asked my husband if he thought it was worth the money because my husband is really tight with Woody and he said it was definitely worth the money to see his children have so much fun and enjoy themselves. So uh, it must be good if he said if he said it was worth the money and it was good because like I said both the children really enjoyed themselves. It was a lovely day out for us all uh, especially in the summer holidays as well. So definitely recommend it. It is running at the Lowry until I think it's the 21st of August. So until the, this Sunday, um, so if you would like to get tickets, they are still available up until Sunday at the Lowry. I think it's then moving on to another ve venue, I'm not sure where. I will link the Tall Stories website down below and they will list all the venues that the Buffalo will be travelling to so you can see if it's coming to a theatre near you. Um, if it is and you've got small children, my kids age, so my children are three and four. Um, it's definitely a good one to take them to, um, especially if you want to introduce them to theatre if they've never been to a theatre show before. This is a really good one to take them to, especially at the Lowry in the Keys Theatre because it's a small theatre and you feel really close and um, really close to the characters and um, there's lots of audience participation in it. So it's definitely a good first show for children to go to. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review of the Gruffalo. Uh, if you do enjoy uh, theatre reviews and things like that, I do, I do try and take the kids to some theatre shows as often as we can. Like I said, they can be quite expensive, so when we do, I always do a little review of it to let you know what we thought of it. Um, so if you like things like that, um, theatre reviews for children and also theatre reviews for any theatre show, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell because I do lots of reflective reviews and vlogs on this channel. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.